Hey YouTube, how you going? This is Billy Eat World and today I've got another weapon review for you. Today we're going to have a look at the Scout Elite which is one of my favourite sniper rifles in BF4 and if you're an aggressive recon player it should be one of yours too. So let's jump straight into the stats of this gun and figure out where and when you should be using it. So as you might have guessed from the title of this video, the Scout Elite is definitely more suited for aggressive recon. The most important thing about playing aggressive recon, especially if you're playing with a bolt action sniper, is making sure that you choose your engagements. Now when I talk about aggressive recon, I'm not talking about a play style that's going to have you rushing the objective all the time, but I am talking about a play style that's going to put you in contact with enemies at all sorts of different ranges, purely because you're not going to be waiting for the enemy to come to you. Now unfortunately, if you're using a bolt action sniper, you're going to have a real issue with short range engagements. Now that's not to say that a bolt action sniper is weak at close range because they do actually have the ability to one shot kill players if you are close enough. Unfortunately though because your rate of fire is not going to be anything near a player with an automatic weapon, if an enemy can see you, if you don't land that first shot you're not going to land probably any subsequent shots. So probably the most important thing for picking a loadout to play aggressive recon with a bolt action sniper is to try and pick a weapon that's going to allow you to get the jump on the enemy but at the same time is going to forgive you a little bit more if you miss a shot or two. Where the Scout Elite really excels is the fact that it can fire faster than any other sniper in the game. It fires at 63 RPM which is a little bit faster than the M40A5. The other stat that makes the Scout Elite a great choice for aggressive recon is the fact that it has the best hip fire of any sniper in the game. Now unfortunately it's not PDW accurate when you're firing from the hip, but if you do attach a laser sight to one of these rifles, you'll find you'll have a much better chance of taking down close range targets than any other sniper. The other great advantage of a Scout Elite is the fact that it has a ridiculously fast bullet speed. At 640 meters per second, it's only 10 meters per second slower than the M98B, which has the fastest muzzle velocity of any sniper in the game. Normally this would be a great stat for any sniper that you're planning on using for long range targets, but unfortunately the Scout Elite does have a few drawbacks that are going to stop you from taking on anything at extreme long ranges. Like all of the other bolt action snipers, the Scout Elite's damage model starts at 100 damage. This is going to drop off at about 12.5 meters and unfortunately by the time it gets out to its minimum damage at 110 meters it's only doing 36.6 damage. This also isn't helped by the fact that it has a slightly higher bullet drop and only a 6 round bullet capacity. What this means is that the Scout Elite is a great rifle for anything under about 70 or 80 meters but it's not something that you want to take on targets beyond that range with. Now these stats should give you a clear indication of what sort of attachments you should be using for this rifle. Throughout these clips I've been using a number of different attachments, but I've been using mainly two different sights. For a more mid to long range approach I've tried to use the ACOG 4x scope with the candid iron sights for really close range stuff. When I wanted to get really up close and personal I was using the 1x holographic scope, not because it's probably the best 1x scope in the game but just because it looks really cool and it's a very quick unlock for this rifle. The other attachments I used for this setup was the laser sight to help with those really really close range hip fire shots and the suppressor to keep me off the mini map. Normally the suppressor is something you'd want to keep away from when you're using a bolt action sniper rifle, but in the case of this weapon where you're really not going to be taking on anything beyond 70 or 80 meters, then the decrease in bullet speed and the increase to bullet drop probably isn't going to matter as much. As I mentioned before, it's really important that you're trying to pick your own engagements, and by keeping you off the minimap, the suppressor is going to make that that much easier to do. So the question is, is it worth using this sniper rifle and is it going to be a good substitute for an automatic weapon? And the answer is, well, yes and no. Even though a Scout Elite with an ACOG sight is probably going to have a slight advantage at mid to long range, I guarantee that if you're running around with an AK-5C, you're going to be doing better than if you're running around with a Scout Elite. But the fact is, it's a completely different experience. I personally enjoy running around with a sniper rifle in CQB, and for that reason alone, it is probably worth using this weapon. But just bear in mind that even if you are a really good battlefield player, if you're not used to playing like this, don't expect to go on massive long kill streaks straight away. Just persevere and work on your aim, and you'll eventually start doing well. So anyway guys, thanks for watching. I'll be back in the next week with some more videos. If you like what you see, please like, comment, and subscribe. I've actually finished a few new games this week, so I'll be back soon with some more video reviews and, as always, a whole lot more BF4 stuff. So, until then, have a good one.